On November 16, 1989, six Jesuit priests and two women were murdered at the Universidad Centroamericana in San Salvador, El Salvador. Their names were Ignacio Eacorilla, Ignacio Martín Baró, Segundo Montes, Juan Ramón Moreno, Joaquín López y López, Amando López, Elba Ramos, and Selena Ramos. They were murdered by the Atlacat Battalion, a death squad formed at the U.S. School of the Americas, and which was responsible for some of the worst massacres in the Salvadoran Civil War and in modern Latin American history. The priests were murdered because of their work at the Universidad Centroamericana, advocating for justice and speaking out against the Salvadoran dictatorship. This work brought criticism from the military and eventually led to their deaths. They followed Jesuit values by being people for others and using their privilege to speak out for those who could not speak for themselves. And they used their faith to work towards justice and fight for a better, more equitable future. To me, uh, honoring the martyr's legacy is rem like remembering all the injustice that there is left in the world to work uh, to fix, but it also gives me hope because there's lots of really powerful um, movements that have come since then that are working to fix it. To me, honoring the martyr's legacy means standing up for injustice whenever I see it and educating people on what their mission was and what they fought for. Honoring their legacy means following all the Fordham values that I've learned here throughout my time at college and embodying them in all my actions, especially being men and women for all. We need to recognize that there's just connectivity amongst all humans. To me, honoring this legacy means remembering the lives of the Jesuits who have gone before us. As a Catholic, getting to remember this legacy is so important and incredibly inspiring. To me, honoring their legacy means upholding the values that we have been taught at Fordham, being men and women for others, and just how the Jesuits at the UCA were fighting for the marginalized communities of El Salvador. I hope to bring that back here and fight for marginalized communities every day that we see around us and to create intentional spaces for their voices to be heard.